What is good, you guys? It is Tuesday, and I am back from the NAM show, and I had an awesome time. Let me roll a few clips of that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah man, it sounds really bright. Now that I am back, I think I want to do a tutorial because even though it's raining outside, it's still another great day to do a tutorial. And today's tutorial is going to be how to create 808 key groups using the MPC software. I just showed you a video of how to put it all on the pads like Zaytoven and a few other experienced producers that use the MP. But I know some people just like to use the keyboard and I get it. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. I know plenty of people have already done this tutorial, but I'm gonna show you how to do it my way. Let's go ahead and get to the tutorial and uh, let's roll the intro. Bolo! Okay, hopefully this tutorial does not take too long because it is very easy to do this. And plus my computer is about to die and my camera is about to die. So hopefully this does not die on me at the same time. But as you can see, I have my keyboard in the background and I have my screen pulled up so you can see what's going on in the NPC software. Um, this is very easy to do with the 808 because usually the samples only come in with one sample using the 808. If you're doing something totally different like a piano or organ, you're gonna to have to use multiple samples. And I'll probably do a video on that later on down the line if you guys want me to. So first thing we need is an 808 bass, which I have that one there, which is the uh, Zaytoven 808. We're gonna swing that in onto the pad. And then now what we're gonna do is either we're gonna click key group first and then click program edit or we can click program edit first then key group doesn't really matter so we're going to click key group first then we're going to click program edit now what we need to do is we need to select our sample which we already swung in and we have the 808 bass and now when we play the keyboard we have the sample that is now spread across the whole keyboard. Now, we're pretty much done, but we need to make one big change, especially with 808s. We need to change this from poly to mono so that we don't have any bass bleeds and that's what we definitely don't want in 808s. So now we do that, if we play two notes, it's gonna play the first note that was selected. So we don't have any bass bleeds. And uh, pretty much we're done. So now what we're gonna do is go back to the home page. And then as you can see, it made us another program, but now you see that it has this keyboard thingy right here. Let's just know it's a key group. We're gonna go in, we're gonna rename that to um, 808 key G for key group. Do that. And now what we can do is we can go right up here to the menu, select file, and then save current program, which we have highlighted is the key group right here. And you can just save this anywhere. I already have key group saved already. And then once you do that, whatever parameters that you have set with that key group, every time you open that key group back up, it's gonna have the parameters already saved and you can just go ahead and get to work. So that's how you create an 808 key group in the MPC software. It is very easy to do in the hardware as well. It's the same way. It's just that you got to click a few buttons, but it's the same exact way on the hardware. And if you guys want me to show you that, just let me know in the comments and I will show you that as well. All right, there it is. Very quick, very easy, very simple. If you like videos like this, please hit that like button. Please comment, let me know how I'm doing. Please subscribe and please turn on those post notifications so you will know when I have another video available. And like I always say, peace out.